Everyone, welcome to Top Capable Channel. Today I want to show you how you can unlock an iPhone that says unavailable on the screen. Apple starts displaying iPhone unavailable message instead of iPhone is disabled for newer iOS devices when you forgot the passcode and entered wrong passcode a few times in a row. We'll start with the easiest way of how you can use Erase iPhone and your Apple ID and password to reset and get past the unavailable screen. The new feature built in the iOS 15.2 or newer version. Apple makes the whole process much easier than before when you're locked out of iPhone. Then we'll look at how you can use iTunes and iCloud's Find My to deal with the problem, so you can get access to your phone quickly. We also provide a very neat and simple third-party program. iPhone Unlocker from AppGeeker. To assist you if all options mentioned before fail to work. It will get your unavailable iPhone fixed in a fast manner. You can get it down below in description part. Okay, let's get back to the methods we mentioned before. Before you erase your iPhone with this new feature, there are a few things needed to know. 1. Your iPhone has been upgraded to iOS 15.2 or newer version. 2. You need to know your iCloud credential information that you used to set up your device. 3. You have cellular or Wi-Fi network connected to your phone. When it tells iPhone unavailable try again in one minute, wait a while and then enter a wrong code again, you will see a try again in 5 minutes message, 15 minutes or something like that. After the timeouts, continue trying to enter your passcode, a security lockout screen should appear. You now should get the erase iPhone option in the bottom corner of the screen. Here, you can now choose to use it unlock the unavailable phone, or just wait another a few minutes for your next passcode guess. If you can't see, erase iPhone, option on your device or it disappears after a restart when you see, security lockout, on the lock screen, you can insert a SIM card that has cellular data. If it still doesn't work, try using iTunes in the next method. Alright, let's see how to erase your iPhone with this option. Simply tap, erase iPhone, you will get into the next screen reminding that you're in a security lockout situation. If you go ahead with, erase iPhone, it will wipe all contents and settings on your phone reset it to factory settings. Let's move on. Tap the erase iPhone on the screen again to confirm. Then it will ask you to enter your Apple ID password to sign out of your Apple ID before it erases the iPhone. Simply enter your credential. It will start restoring your phone to its factory settings and erase all your data, including your photos, contacts, texts, notes, settings, and anything else. You can see the iPhone is loading. Just wait until it's finished. Alright so now it shows the Apple logo and reboots with a hello screen. You can now set it up as you did the first time you got the device. Choose your language. Tap your country or region. Connect to a Wi-Fi network or cellular. Here, it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Set up Face ID. If you're using an old iPhone, here set up your Touch ID. Set a new passcode. Then restore or transfer your data on the apps and data screen. If you have backup of your data stored in iCloud or iTunes, you can choose Restore from iCloud, or from your computer here. If you don't have a backup, select Don't transfer apps and data to move on. Sign in with your Apple ID and password. Now, you can use your iPhone. If your iPhone won't show you, erase iPhone, option or it doesn't work no matter how you tap it, Apple still offers a recovery mode that's included in iTunes to help you reset an iPhone when it's unavailable or disabled, though the process may be a little bit complicated. It's going to download newest iOS software for your phone and restore it to factory defaults while removing the unavailable screen at the same time. Let's move on. The process requires you to connect your iPhone to iTunes, so be sure to prepare a working cable and you have a PC or Mac nearby. First of all, you need to download iTunes on your computer if you haven't. You can get it from Apple website. 
We also offer a link below for your download to save your time. One thing to be noted that iTunes no longer exists in a Mac that runs Mac OS 10.16 Catalina or later. Instead, you will need to use the pre-installed Finder app to handle iPhone update or restore tasks. Because I already have it on my computer here, so here I won't go through the download process. If you have an old iTunes installed there, make sure upgrade it to the latest version. You can do this by click the help button on the top menu bar and click check for update to complete it. So now what I'm gonna do is connect the iPhone to computer with the cable. As you can see, iTunes won't recognize the iPhone, the device is still showing unavailable. Now you need to put the phone into recovery mode. Depending on the model of iPhone in your hand, the way of pressing physical buttons on the device to get into recovery mode may be slightly different. Don't worry, we will show you how to do. If you have a newer iPhone, like iPhone 8, iPhone 10, iPhone 10R, iPhone SE, iPhone 11, iPhone 12, iPhone 13, press and release the volume up button, then press and release the volume down button, and then keep holding the side button. Here you don't need to swipe the slider on the top, just keep holding the side button. The iPhone should turn off automatically and show you the Apple logo, just keep holding the button. It will display the Apple logo and quickly turn into the screen with a cable point to a computer like this. If you see this, you're in recovery mode. If you have an iPhone 7, keep pressing the volume down and side button. Let the phone shut off and reboot with Apple logo. Don't release the button until it turns out a screen with a cable point to a computer. If you have an old iPhone 6S, 6, or older device, keep pressing the home button and power button. When you see the Apple logo appear, don't release the buttons before the phone display the screen with a cable point to a computer. If you're unable to put your iPhone into recovery mode or it goes back into the unavailable screen on your phone, you can repeat the steps we mentioned previously a few times. We also have a detailed guide about how you can get an iPhone into recovery mode. You can find it below in the description part. Now, on your computer, you should see a pop-up window in the iTunes or Finder, just like this. iTunes now detects the iPhone and asks whether you want to update it, or restore it to factory settings. Here you need to click Restore. The iOS software will be downloading and then installing on your iPhone. This will erase all of your data on the device, but you can restore your data and settings from a backup during setup later. Wait a few minutes before your phone is erased completely. When you see the phone shut off, turn on, show you the Apple logo, hello screen, great, your unavailable iPhone has been reset and go back to normal. You can now go through the wizards on the phone to complete the setup. Make sure you remember your Apple ID and password. If you don't know what is it, you will be stuck at there and won't be able to use the phone, and you can't restore your data that you have backed up in iCloud or iTunes. Another option you can take to bypass an unavailable or security lockout screen on iPhone is use Find My iPhone feature. You can find it in your iCloud account once you're logged in. It can erase your iPhone wirelessly, and the whole process is simple as well. Type in iCloud.com into your browser. When it loads, sign in with your Apple ID and password. Once you're signed in, click Find iPhone here. Then click All Device here. Find your iPhone that has unavailable screen from the list of your Apple devices. Click it. When its menu opens, click Erase iPhone. Click Erase iPhone to confirm your choice. You can now wait for it to erase your unavailable iPhone. The time the whole process takes could be within minutes. Okay. The hello screen appears again. It's your time to set the device up. Hopefully this video solves your problem. If it does, please hit the thumbs up and share with your friends. If you have any question about fixing an unavailable iPhone, please leave them in the comment area down below. See you in the next video.